Hey, I'm Julian and today I'm building a Honeycomb light box. Let's go! A few days ago I bought a new tool. It's a Japanese saw and I had to use it in my new project. I'm cutting my wood in a 30 degrees angle. And make every piece 25 centimeters long. A honeycomb has the shape of a hexagon, so I needed to cut six pieces, and on both ends had to be the 30 degrees angle. I laid down some adhesive tape. I put my pieces on top, and also put wood glue on the ends. I make sure wood glue is spread evenly. Then I'm rolling it together and remove the excess glue. And I also put on some extra support. This is the first time I'm building a hexagon shape. And using adhesive tape for this was working just great. Now I'm sanding it a little. This little piece is to lift up a component of my LED stripe so that there is enough space for everything inside. Now I'm marking where I need to cut the plexiglass. And then I'm using a very sharp knife Cut again and again until I can break off the piece. I want my light box to shine into the room but also shine on the wall. So I'm making this two times. I'm using a water-based white color to paint my frame. I'm applying the color very very thin so that there's still some wood grain visible. Before and after. I'm drilling a hole on the side where my cable comes through. I'm drilling some holes on the back side so that it will be removable in case of repair. I'm using a 1500 grit sandpaper to frost the plexiglass. I wasn't very satisfied how it came out, so I used a frosting foil. And to get to a point I would say I should have bought the frosted plexiglass. I can start assembling everything together now. I started with the cable and now I'm gluing in this little box. Now I can attach the LED stripe. And I'm just making some rounds until it's all glued in. After filming this, some parts of the LED strap came up again 
and I just used some construction adhesive to glue them in place again. For the front I'm using a transparent glue so that it isn't visible. The backside will be attached by some screws. And then I just need to remove the protecting foil and sand the edges. And it's done. Now I just need to wait for the bees to be attracted. Oh, there it is. What do you think about my project? Thanks for watching, I'm Julian. Uh, please subscribe and I hope to see you soon. Bye!